If you watch this video end to end, some of you will still choose not to believe me. You'll think that all of these things that you thought were important were important, but after the 10 year journey that I went on, you're going to see that a lot of the things that I thought were important in my life were completely false. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be explaining the trap of masculinity and how society and especially different YouTube gurus and dating coaches and like success hustlers want everybody chasing specific things in hopes of attracting like women. Everybody's being led astray and I can tell you this because what I've put five to ten years of practical real life application in when it comes to looks, money, and status, I've maxed out these areas and I can actually give you the honest to God truth of what women look for and what women care about but it took me like years in this journey and years in this space to actually figure this out and I only recently discovered this within the past like week or two. So here's the thing, going into this video today I was actually super apprehensive and super nervous because I don't like to ever come across like I boast or I brag, but I have to show you this because since I put 10 years of real life application into this, I feel as if I'm one of the only credible people who can really give you this information when it comes to impacting your dating life. Here's what you have to know about me before you come in with any preconceived notions or preconceived judgments if you're brand new to this channel. I've been an extremely hard worker my whole life Okay, I've put tons of work into self-development and I started from nothing. I started with rock bottom with my body and my looks. I started with rock bottom with my finances, okay, living when, with four or five other people in a moldy apartment that had black mold on the ceiling. I built multiple businesses from the ground up, okay, and I grew this whole channel and my status and whatever you want to talk about all by myself, okay. I've achieved all three. When it came to looks, I went from nerd to six pack abs and pretty jacked, right? Like I'm 5'10", 5'11", I weigh close to 190 pounds right now. Okay, I've acquired money. Okay, I became a cash millionaire at 25 years old and that's after taxes and that's in profit locked away in the bank. And I tell you that not to boast or not to break. I started from the ground up. I've built, I've had fitness businesses, I've had, I've helped guys with dating, okay, I have stock portfolios, I have, I'm investing in real estate this year, like I have so much stuff going on with my personal life and my businesses that you guys don't see. Now, once again, just to reiterate, I do not say that to flaunt or to tell anybody this crap just for the sake of it to make myself feel good. I'm trying to, I'm showing you credibility that after looks, money, and status, I can see what works and what doesn't, so just stick with me. Okay, I do this channel for fun, so that's why I tell you like I can actually help you. Money, okay, I've, I've accomplished that. So I've checked off that box. I can truly show you the ropes of what this comes down to. And when it comes to status, I've had social circles, I've had friends over the years, and on top of that, I built this channel to 300,000 subscribers plus. So I know what it's like to have people follow me and to have some sort of influence in today's day and age. So I can tell you this, and these things are a total trap. I'm gonna explain the whole situation why. It's a total trap, it's total garbage. If you wanna chase success your whole life thinking these people, th these things are gonna bring you fulfillment and joy, you're gonna be left completely empty because I went along that road for a long time and I thought these things would bring me joy. I thought these things would impact my dating life. This left a total hole in my heart, a hole in my soul, and not only that, your dating and your, your S3X life isn't going to drastically change the more successful you get, and I can show you all this. So first, let's break down the first thing. What, what is looks as a man? Well, looks would be basically, right, you building a masculine physique, so your gym, okay, your gym for poor performance, your strength, and your physique. So this is good, okay, because this signals overall health. If any dating coach online tells you not to focus on this and you don't need to look good, that is total bullshit. Everybody knows that the more aesthetically pleasing you are, you get like, <laughs> everybody knows this to be true. So anybody telling you it doesn't matter, like it, it matters to some degree. Of course, the, what meets the eye and what people see, people wanna see something good in the mirror. That helps your self esteem too. Now number two is money. Now here's what I found with money. Money such as success provisioning Okay, women will think you're a good long-term bet. Okay, so every single girl that comes into my life, they all say the same thing after a date or two. They go, oh, I could, I could see myself dating you. I sit there and I think, oh, I bet you could. <laughs> you know, I bet you could. Because I, I've created a good life for myself. So this is normal, but here's what you gotta remember. I, I, I'll, sh I'll show you this later. Like, I'm really excited to make this video and I know this is gonna impact your life, but last is status, okay? Here's what I found with status. Status is completely variable based off the environment. 
Okay, so for example, I'm well known on the internet. I can be walking through Vegas, like there's times I'm walking through the Cosmopolitan, okay, there was this, I was at this one fancy restaurant. The server like freaked out. He's like, oh my God, I watch you on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. If you're with a girl and she sees that, yeah, that's status. But status, you gotta ask yourself two questions. If you're looking at status from the aspect of women, who sees that you have status and also who cares? Because this is situational, based off your social circle and based off how well liked you are. So here's what I have found. This is through my own trials and tribulations. This is through my own 10 year journey. Okay, so after years of effort, here's what I learned. Okay, girls don't care about any of this. Like I can't stress this enough. Okay, if you guys haven't checked out the MBT webinar yet, I just wrote it brand new and it actually is brand new. Like you've never seen me on camera before, explain it from this angle. You, you, can, you, you can choose to believe me or not when I tell you this, but I'm telling you the God's honest truth. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I need you to believe this. Girls don't care about any of this. I had the best interactions with women. I had the best experiences with girls. I had the best relationships. A lot of this stuff actually ruined my life in certain ways and ruined my interactions. And I'm going to explain why. Girls don't care about any of this. After 10 years of putting work into myself, here's what girls like. Girls don't care how big and how jacked you are. Girls just like that you're lean. Like if you're lean, you have an angular face, you have some sort of like, you know, chiseled outline of like abs, and this doesn't have to be hard. Like, for example, I, I, I attracted the most girls when I was about 5'10", I was about 167 pounds. This was like the sweet spot. Okay, anything bigger than 5'10", 5'11", like 167 pounds, maybe like getting up to like probably, you know, 175, if that, but even that was a bit pushing it. Well, girls would start to say you're really big, okay? Anything more than this, I've actually lost out on dates because they look at you and they think you're cocky or you're arrogant and then they don't feel comfortable with themselves. So that's a big part of this not talked about is like, girls have insecurities too. And girls also want to like feel safe and comfortable with a, a guy too. Anything big isn't needed. Okay, girls, the first thing they like, they like that you're lean. Okay, if you're lean, you look good. The second thing though that girls like, girls like a guy who's social, okay? Social means that you're well connected and that people like you. Okay, which brings me to point number three, you're well liked. So in a girl's eyes, here's what I found. Girls only see what you put in front of them. That's all they see. They only see what you put in front of them. So for example, okay, when I had a really good social circle, when I had a lot of friends, when I had people who really liked me, like I got, far, I, I attracted far more women, had far more real quality connections and chemistry that actually lasted with girls far more than any amount of like shallow level success Okay, any, any sort of online fame or presence, none of that helped. What helped the most was a girl sees that you're well liked. Okay, if you're at a bar club, house party, or you're at a social event, and she sees that other people like you and are responding well to you, this is bonus points. This is status in her eyes. Okay, that, that's what women like. Women like these three things. You're social and you have that sort of status where people like you. You don't have to have a million Instagram followers. You don't have to have a YouTube following. You don't have to make a million dollars. You don't have to make 10 grand a month, 50 grand a month, 100 grand a month. You don't have to have any of that. I'm gonna tell you this. Girls don't care about any of that. And I can only tell you this, you're going through a 10 year long journey and a lot of this left me empty, sad, and unfulfilled. Okay, this is what I call the trap of online masculinity. You're being led astray and convinced that if you fulfill your shallow level possessions or you fulfill your materialistic possessions such as a big house, big car, all this, or great car, all this crap, you're gonna be fulfilled. You're gonna be left empty and short-sighted, okay? When it comes to money, okay, I've actually heard girls word for word say that they hate when a guy tries to flex money because it looks like he has something to prove and now he's insecure. If a guy's too jacked, it's like they're making fun of him. Oh, he's the guy who's a jacked guy, thinks he's so tough. Like you, you, these stuff, this stuff can actually hurt you. If you're the guy glued to your phone posting on Instagram and social media, you're all of a sudden the guy who's weirdo because you need all this attention. So these things will oftentimes hurt your chances with girls. I, the, the, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, the, the more increase in these areas I've had, oftentimes it's, it's hurt my chances and it's hurt my success that I could have had with girls It was very easy to attract when I was younger. And it was easier for me to attract when I was younger because, okay, life was easy and life was simple. So here's what I can tell you. I had the best relationships when I had nothing. Okay, when I was broke, and I connected with a girl, it was like there was real chemistry there and things were actually real. So when I had nothing, here's what I did have. I had a social circle, okay? 
the more I started grinding on my business, the more hardened I became, the more I lost out on friends. And also, here's what you have to remember, the more you chase the materialistic possessions of the world, the more it's going to be harder to connect with people on a person to person level because everything's transactional. If you're trying to make money, it's transactional. You start to network with people. It's not about you actually connecting and having a good social life. Now it becomes, oh, what value do they bring in the business world? People forget what it's like to make real friends nowadays. And that's what you need to remember. So when I, like, I had the best relationships with women when I had a good social circle, I had nothing. Like, I'll give you an example. I'll put up a picture. Like, there, there was even a time when, like, an uh, ex-girlfriend of mine, like, there was a time, like, I remember the first year we met, like, it was the 4th of July. We watched fireworks together. I had nothing. I was living with other dudes in, a, a, like, an apartment. But we were completely in love. I remember, like, we ended up going to Walmart together afterwards late at night and just got snacks and, like, we enjoyed life. And that has really been missing off of a lot of men because they never feel good enough. They think they need all these materialistic things and they forget that who you are as a person, if you can just connect and you can make real connections with people and have a social life, you don't need to do anything fancy and you don't need to work yourself to death. Like these things will actually keep you stuck and give you more stress and more anxiety and make it much harder to connect with people. So here's kind of like the graph that I've seen. If you have success over here, okay, one is down here and 10 is over here, okay, the bottom axis you have popularity. Popularity doesn't mean how popular you are on the internet. It doesn't matter how much, how big you are at shaking your ass to get more followers. That is the wrong aspect of status. Okay, I'm talking status of if you have four, five, six friends and everybody wants to get together and you're included, to a girl that's status, to a girl that's real connection, to a girl it seems like you're well liked. So these things, okay, here's what I've found to be true. And like I said, I can tell you this because I've checked the boxes. If I was some Joe Blow who hasn't done anything, I couldn't tell you this, but since I've actually done these things, I can tell you that a lot of this is a waste of time if your goal is to have a better social life and connect with girls and actually just have a great dating life and maybe find somebody. Like it still is possible to find somebody. So here's what you gotta remember. Popularity down here, one to 10. Success over here. What I found is like the sweet spot, the equilibrium, is this axis where they intersect right in the middle. You're at about a five or a six with success. You're at about a five to eight in popularity and people like you. This intersection point right here is where you will get the most, like you'll have the best social life and the best dating life. And it's because you're most, like I was most happy and had the most friends and had the most things to do when I made about just five to 10 grand a month. Okay, high five figures, low six figures, and no stress. Because I wasn't focused on any of the things of the material world. So I'm gonna tell you this, this right here, if you're chasing these things, you gotta remember whose agenda are you playing on? Whose agenda wants you stuck? Because here's the thing, a good sit, every, everybody online who's hustling something towards you, here's what you gotta remember, everybody's a salesman. If I'm so like everybody who you follow online in one of these three areas, health, wealth, or relationships, if they are selling you looks is the dream and the key is a good body, they probably want you to get into the fitness trend. And they're probably gonna make you feel insecure, not good enough about your body. Okay, what I can do if I want to get people into my certain offer for money is I'm gonna tell people that, you know what, girls only care about money and because of that, you gotta remember that your provisioning is important. Now, is your provisioning important? Yes, but you gotta remember, if you're watching a bunch of people on the internet, you gotta ask whose agenda are they playing for? Typically, it's not, it's not in your favor, it's in their favor. And it took me so long to realize this. So this is why I created MBT. Because when I discovered MBT, it was the raw practical truth. It was the true attraction triggers that women are prone to, which is the three secrets you can watch below. I just reshot the webinar today or yesterday. This is going to be your masculine frame, your masculine energy, and you having options. And the only way to do that is by scrapping your old belief sets and your old belief systems. You do not need a bunch of looks. You do not need a bunch of muscle. You do not need a bunch of game. You do not need a bunch of status. These things keep you in the trap of masculinity of never feeling good enough. So if you haven't yet checked out that webinar below, I made it, I just shot it. You're gonna see me on camera show you this slide by slide. And this is the truth. I wanted to make this video because I, I thought to myself, like instead of just keeping all this to myself, like I've done for a lot of months because I'm embarrassed to show, like, you know, nobody likes to brag or be boastful. And that, that's how it would appear. If I show a picture and you see a six pack, it's gonna look like I'm, I, I got something to show or prove. If I show you cash or I show you like the things I've done in business, it's gonna, yeah, everybody will disregard and say, oh, girls just like him for money. If I show you like these things, it's, it's gonna be hard. 
So I can only tell you this because I've been through the journey and I was most happiest right here. Not only was I most happy, but I could connect with women on a real level. And I had nothing to prove it. Like those of you, you guys watching the, all of these influencers or people trying to get you down this rabbit hole, you're going to be left empty handed. Like I was 10 years of work to realize a lot of these things that I thought were important were not important at all. So I hope you like this video. If you do hit the like button, okay, comment and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.